time for the show. Feeling my way through the darkness, guided by a beaten heart. I can't tell where the journey will end, but I know where to start. They tell me I'm too young. To what a great day for a sports talk radio show. I'm excited about the show today because it is our seven month anniversary for me being on the show. Colby Merriman uh, Radio Show is a sports talk radio show. It's a big part of my life now, and we have a lot of followers. It takes a lot of work, and we do it three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, so it's a good thing. It's, I'm, I'm glad I'm doing it, and it's changed my perspective of digital communication. Doing it right, everybody will be dancing and we're feeling it right. Everybody will be dancing and be feeling it right. Everybody Can't wait to get back to work again, get back in the studio. It's a good thing, it's a good day here at Furman. And it's the first time I'm without my co host, and I'm picking up some new co hosts. I'm excited about that. It's a good day. Everybody will be dancing tonight, doing it right. Everybody will be dancing and we're feeling it right. Everybody will be dancing and be doing it right. Everybody will be dancing tonight, doing it right. Everybody will be dancing tonight, doing it right. Welcome to the Colby Mammon Show. I'm glad that you are listening in. I think we're going to have a good crowd of listeners today. Uh, it's summertime. Nobody's really doing anything. So I'm actually logging into Facebook right now. I'm going to try to get onto it. Um, and I'm going to try to get your questions answered that I got earlier. And we're talking about MLB baseball. Phil Mickelson went in the Open last weekend. Uh, USA Soccer, NBA offseason. I'm really excited to talk about these topics. I'm going to check our Facebook page and text. I'm sure I'm going to receive so we can get into those topics even further. So I'm here with my new co-host, Trent McCann. I'm very excited for him to be here. Uh, thanks for having me, Colby. It's good to be here. Yeah, I, and, and this guy's got more than enough qualification. He is a club soccer player, which is a really probably one of the best club teams we have here, and the sports editor for the school newspaper. So I got a couple questions for okay. you. Okay. So number one. Why were you interested in doing some of the show with me? What interests you about sports, media, and radio in general? Well, you know, just having that opportunity, you know, to to talk out subjects with you and, you know, try to get to the bottom of some of the stuff that's going on in sports today and, you know, hopefully educate some of the public about it, you know. My life be like... Oh, yeah, no, I love the Colby Merriman show. You know, I, I started listening to it probably about a year ago, I want to say, and ever since then, I mean, I really don't pay very close attention to ESPN or Comcast or, you know, any of those things. I check in with the show, for the most part, everything that I need to have covered is, is, is taken care of for me, so I, I do love it. Actually, out on the seas is where I first met Colby Merriman. We were uh, doing a cruise out in the Cayman Island. He started talking to me about this whole sports radio gig and me being a venture capitalist, figured I could invest, maybe lend a, a couple of dollar signs his way. This has been quite a fruitful relationship. You know, let me, let me try to think of a way to put it. It's, it's, it's kind of like Colby is the Tiger Woods of sports broadcasting, but he just doesn't get as many girls. I have it now to where I can stream Wi-Fi, the Colby Merriman Show, 24-7. I mean, I use it when I'm cooking, you know, late night frying of eggs. Sometimes if I'm in the shower, I'll be listening to Colby Merriman Show. I mean, he really gets my day going. It's almost like my cup of coffee in the morning. 